Music cools the soul's fire, Mahatma Gandhi. The world talks with me through pictures and my soul answers through music, Rabindranath Tagore. Whether a person is spiritual or not, we all seek to get away from the stress, anger and anxiety of everyday life. Some people drink, do drugs or do worse to escape and they hurt themselves in the process. Some people listen to music, mind included and feel better. Yani Book name Shabd Brahma Nad Brahma Divine Word Divine Sound Music is the soul of human beings. If it is made an integral part of life, it is possible for us to uplift our soul and experience heavenly pleasures. Scriptures have described word and sound as Brahma because the vibrations generated by music mobilize the pran or vital energy of the physical and causal body and hence uplift us spiritually. This effect is related to the realm of mind which has been described beautifully in this book. Western scientists have also done a lot of research on this topic and have proved that music has an impact on the brain, physical body and in fact plants too. Importance of Music in Medical Therapy People of all cultures, backgrounds and of all ages respond to music therapy. It helps in lowering blood pressure, improving memory, enhancing communication skills, reducing stress and managing pain. It is also used in military hospitals to cope with trauma. It is very useful in patients with autism or spectrum disorders. It helps in Alzheimer's with memory enhancement and stimulates the mind. Music therapy is also used in mental hospitals. Few excerpts from the book. Singing dancing makes us happy. This is an activity of the physical body. But if music is sung or heard with deep feeling and emotions, it helps transform even the soul. Music is one type of swar sadhana and pranayam, due to which the inner organs of the body get exercise and body gets more oxygen. This not only helps in improving digestion, getting good sleep, developing strong bones, but also helps developing qualities like mercy, love, clemency, generosity, affection, service and courtesy. When the life energy reaches the subtlest thought process, it strikes with the Sahasrara. This is the topmost of the seven chakras in the body and is situated on the crown of the head and is also known as the thousand petaled divine lotus or door to Brahma. A sound resembling Om is generated. This is Ajapa Jab. Ajapa Jab means the person has attained a stage where the person does not have to chant a mantra as the person understands and realizes the meaning of mantra without chanting or repeating it. This is also called conscious awareness of a mantra which is also called Soham. Soham consists of two words. So meaning that and Ham meaning I and it is related to the concept of oneness that we all are connected with the universe and all of creation in scriptures. If the life energy does not strike the Sahasrara, then the bioelectric energy dies and person dies. Energy is Na and fire is the. Energy and sound together produce a sound called Nad, Nad Brahma. The primal absolute sound is the cause of consciousness and bliss in all animals. Worshipping, praying this absolute sound, Nad Brahma, is as good as worshipping Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh together. Sangeet Ratnakar scripture has divided Nad or sound in 22 different ways in which we hear it, which is called Shruti. These Shrutis have special energy or divine powers to be experienced by ears. These 22 Shrutis are each related to the 7 Swaras. The sound and the Swaras together are the reason for physical and causal influences of music. Just as different 
permutations and combinations of chemicals in medicine have varied effects on def- different diseases. In the same way, these 22 sounds and their combinations have varied effects on living things. In ancient times, those who knew this mysterious science were called worshippers of Nath Brahma. With the help of musical instruments, songs, emotional gestures and expressions, they awakened their internal energy and cured persons of their sorrows and illness. They also brought about many positive changes in the living and non-living things. One is Shabd Brahma and the other is Par Brahma. Shabd Brahma can be achieved by reading scriptures and listening to religious discourses. Par Brahma can be reached by practicing discretion, vivek, contemplation, manan and rumination, chintan. Shabd Brahma and Par Brahma are God's eternal, nitya and pure, chinmay, conscious form. Once a fly falls in milk, that milk is inedible. In the same way, music is acceptable till it is pure and noble. If it brings out animal instincts, attacks the basic human principles, virtues and modesty, then it is like poison and unacceptable. Such profane music that takes us off track from our goal should be boycotted. Some of topics covered in the book Music a powerful energy Music and its powerful effects Music as a medical therapy Love of animals and plants for music Shabd Brahm and Nath Sadhana Nath Yoga and its connection with God Misuse of Music